Hi! Today's lesson is about drawing a dot plot. So you will need a piece of paper and something to write with or draw with. And um, we're going to be making a plot today of the 12 months of the year and the birthdays of the people in our family. And um, since we're at home, if we were in class, we would do maybe our class members. But we're going to start in the very middle of our paper here and draw a straight line all the way down the page from top to bottom. And we're going to make um, 12 sections here. So we're starting by splitting it in half. And then we're going to come to the middle of this half of the page and draw another line down again. So like um, now we've got two quarters and same thing on this side. Two quarters there. All right, and then we need to separate each one of these into um, three sections. So just go about a third of the way in to the first section and draw a line down, and then um, two thirds in, and there's our next line. Okay, so see how we have three sections there, and then we're going to do three sections in each of these the same way. So you're drawing two line, two more lines in each section. So one, two, and these don't have to be perfectly spaced, just do your best. And one, two, one, Okay, once you have this much, um, we're going to do this a little differently since it's art. So we're combining our math and art concepts today a little bit. Along the bottom, we're going to put our labels, but we're going to leave a little extra room because these are so thin, these little sections. So go up a couple inches and draw a line all the way across the bottom. And then in each section, we're going to draw a symbol for that month. I'll give you an idea, but if you have a different idea for that month's symbol, you can do what you want. So the first one, I'm going to do a snowflake for January. So just um, like this, we'll do some lines on the edges, and then I'm going to do a little connecting line in between here. Um, that go, it comes to a point and down, point and down in between each of those areas. Okay, so there's my snowflake for January. For February, I thought of a heart, so we'll do that. Just two curved lines coming to a point. For March, um, thinking of a shamrock. So here's the bottom. We have two short lines, a line across. And then you could do either three or four leaves. Um, I'm going to try to do four. So we have a curved line, curved line, curved line, and curved line like that. Okay, then for um, April, I'm using the saying, April showers bring May flowers. So I'm going to do a raindrop there. And then um, May, we'll do a flower. So I'm just going to do a circle in the middle and then some petals, just some big curved lines coming out. And then for June, I'm going to do a sun. I'm just going to do a circle with some um, straight lines coming out from the circle. And then for July, a flag. That's when we celebrate. Fourth of July, of course, Independence Day. So I'm just going to draw it quickly. So I have a rectangle with another rectangle inside. And then I'm just going to draw a bunch of straight lines coming out horizontally across the flag. And if the number's not exact, that's OK. We're just doing a symbol right now. I'll do some dots <clears throat> to represent the stars. And then let's see, August. For August, um, we go back to school in August, so 
I'm going to do uh, two parallel lines and a little rectangle at the end with a curved line after it and a point. So there's our pencil. Okay, and then for, for going back to school, and then for September, I'm going to do an apple. Um, that time of year, we have a lot of apples growing, and then October, I'm going to do a pumpkin. If you want, you can make it into a jack-o'-lantern, kind of the same shape as an apple. So we have a curved line connected with a curved line, and then um, on the inside, we just have more curved lines that follow that same contour. And then the stem is a little thicker than the apple, the apples. Okay, and then for November, I'm going to do pie. So I'm going to do an oval, looks like that. And then two lines <clears throat> coming down at an angle in and a slightly curved line on the bottom. And then I'm going to just put some lines here, like the top of the pie where the, um, the steam comes out. OK, and then for December, um, I'm going to do a star. Some families celebrate certain holidays in, in December. And a lot of those holidays have to do with light. So if you want to do a candle or a star, or if you don't celebrate those, you can choose your own symbol for something with December. Maybe something else that goes with the cold, like an ice skate or something like that. So um, these are our months. Okay, so now for our dot plot, I want you to think about the people in your family, and I want you to um, figure out when their birthdays are. So I'm going to go through mine here. Um, so I have, I'm thinking of kind of my extended family. So um, parents, brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, um, things like that. So I have two in January. So I'm going to put a dot and then another dot above it. I'm just going to kind of spread those out, but I'm paying attention to where I put those because I want to be able to compare to the other numbers, so I need to space all of them out the same amount. Um, for February, I also have two. For March, there are four. So one, two, so I'm keeping these lined up, and then three, four. Um, no one in April in my family. Um, then I have three in May. One, two, three. And another one is going to be born in May in just a few weeks. So um, I can add one there in May. And then August, um, I don't have any in June or July, but August, there are two. So one. Two. And then for September, I have one. At October, there are two. Let's see if I can try to keep those lined up still. Got a little off there. One of those is mine. Um, and then November, um, I, oh, I'm hoping, I think, oh yeah, I think I got them all good. And then one in December. I thought I forgot one for a second. I think I got everybody's. So um, you get to do these numbers based on your family. If you want to include, if you have a small family, like maybe just three of you, then if you want, you can include your cousins, your grandparents. You can find out some more birthdays to add to your graph. Um, okay, so this is our drawing part. And then we're going to be coloring, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So. I'm going to sign my name. Okay, signed mine in my birthday month there. And um, we will be using um, oil pastels today. So if you, I mean, I will be using oil pastels. If you have oil pastels at home that you want to get out, that's great. Um, if you don't, then you can use whatever else you want. Watercolor works, um, any kind of paint. 
crayon, colored pencil, anything like that. If you're just using pencil or pen, then you might want to do some extra detail in your designs um, with what I'm going to show you. So for um, coloring these in, we're going to pay attention to the color of the whole strip here for the month just because this is art. So I'm going to take um, the side of my oil pastel and if you need to, you, actually it looks like this one's broken, there we go. It's going to say you can peel it off but this is perfect, I just need a, a piece like this. I'm going to roll it on its side so that it fills in my space lightly. Um, oil pastels are awesome because they can um, they can be really bold and bright, but sometimes you don't want that, you just want it to be lighter. So I'm going to use my tissue here. You can use a tissue, a piece of cloth, anything like that to just blend it a little bit. And then that will make this kind of a lighter blue so I can still see through. And then when I have, um, when I go to draw, to color in my snowflake here and my dots, I can make those a little darker on top. Is that makes sense. So I've got my lighter shade by just doing it on the side rubbing and then my darker by coloring with the tip and pushing harder and even though it's the same color. Um, okay so same idea I'm gonna do with February. So I want to get the side big enough that I can roll it. So I just hope oh, that one broke too. That's okay kind of the size I need. So I'm just going to roll it softly on that one. Okay, and then take the tissue and blend that in a little bit. Okay. And then I can take my color again and go over it, go over my dots and my shape with the t using the tip so it stands out. Alright, and then for, we've got the shamrocks, which is green. So this one was already peeled down a little bit, so I'll just go ahead and rub that on there. I'm blending it first because um, that way I won't have to worry about blending the, the darker parts. So I get my base layer down, blend it, and then go back on top to do the last details that I want to add here, which are the dots and the shamrock, or four-leaf clover. Okay, there we go. For the droplet, do some water. I'll do a different color of blue just to change things up. If you have a different color of blue for this, you can. And maybe you're maybe you chose a different symbol for your month, so you can choose a color that goes with your symbol. Yeah, for me there's there's no one in that one, so no dots. Okay, um, let's do a bright color here for May. Let's do a bright orange. Okay, so I'm gonna rub it first, roll it across. <clears throat> okay, get that blended in. So same same thing over and over on each of these um, months. 
So on a normal box plot, or I mean, I'm sorry, a normal um, dot plot, you would have the words here at the bottom, so it would say May instead of just a picture. But that's one of our goals in art, is to be able to create meaning without using words most of the time. So to be able to show it in an image, have people get a certain feeling or understanding from it. So um, that's what we're practicing here. So then we've got our yellow for the sun for June. It's coming quickly. Can't believe it. in a little brighter. <clears throat> okay, for July, I can choose a color for the background since I've got the flag. It could be a few different colors. I'll do um, the darker blue because I know that I'm going to use my red over here for my apple, so I'm going to save the red for that one. I'm going to do blue here just to do as many different ones as I can. Get that. Colored in. But when I go to color in my flag, I'll probably still highlight those um, those stripes red. Okay, so it's fun to see how the different colors um, blend. This darker colors, it's you can see the texture more still. Some of these softer colors, like the green, blend in a little bit more. <clears throat> so then I've got the blue section. Color that in dark blue. And some red stripes. It's really fun to use these oil pastels because they just um, they come, uh, they're kind of thick. And when you put them down, they just stay on the page so bright. You don't have to push them in or anything like that. They're just ready to go, kind of like paint. So that's fun. Um, for, the, for the pencil for August, I'm going to do um, another light orange. You probably could have done like a yellowish orange too if you have that. You could have done that. <clears throat> or maybe you chose like a different color of a pencil so you can do green with the green pencil or whatever whatever goes with yours and same thing here on the pencil I have a few other details to add in so I've got the silver on the back the tip and the eraser Oops, I did that a little bit more pink. Okay, the apple. So here we are with the red, like I was saying. Get that open. I chose a red apple because we already had the green shamrock and we already had the yellow sun. Just to get a different shape, a different color over here. that and then um, the we're back to more orange um, I do have a darker orange here so I'll try to I'll use that one just to mix it up a little bit since I've already used a couple oranges and mine hopefully that'll yeah it's a different kind of orange perfect 
little bit more of a pumpkin-y orange anyways. Well, I guess they can be all different shades, right? But it has a little bit of a burnt orange feel. Got two. There. That pumpkin, and we have the green stem. Gets me excited for all these seasons drawing this. For the pie, um, we're going to use a little bit of a brown, brownish yellow. So get that on its side first. Peel that up a little bit. That one came all the way off. It's okay. Okay, and then. Blend it, get it colored in a little more darkly. Um, sometimes the side of the pie, I mean, if it's still in the, the pie tin, it might be silver, or it could be in a dish, or so you can decide there. <clears throat> and then for this last part, um, I'm going to do this lighter yellow for the star. If you wanted to put in a certain holiday, some, a symbol that's more specific, um, like a Christmas tree or a menorah or something like that. <clears throat> Another holiday that's around this time, you can do that too. All right, this is our dot plot. It's very colorful and picture-based art, artistic dot plot today of um, the birthdays in the year of your family, your friends. So thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you had fun and I hope you have a great day today and I'll see you next time. Bye.